the players who stand out are the ones who are always first, the ones who go hard, the ones who are vocal, the ones who show leadership. And so naturally, uh, Murdoch is that kind of, or was that kind of person. The persona that he had as a basketball player in high school was always one of a, of a, of a leader who took control, you know, who encouraged players who wasn't so talented to, to you know, to, to play better or uh, used to push them to become better. He was, he was a great leader, could handle the ball, make other guys better, and that, that's the great thing about it. If you needed to get your points, you can get your points, but if you need to get everybody that's involved, you can get everybody that's involved also. So he was a great leader uh, for us on the basketball floor, doing the right thing, getting everybody where he's supposed to be, so he made my job real easy. He had been winning all his life. It, it wasn't like that was his first championship, the one that they won in 1998. Uh, in Little League and Rec Ball, he had always been one of the best players in the state of Georgia. So it wasn't it wasn't anything new to him to win and to, to be expected to win. He used to always get the mediocre player, the player who's not as skilled or has a had, had a higher level as he had. And he used to go out there and compete against the best players. You know, and, and that used to always make make him better. So he said, let's walk back in the locker room. I said, okay, we're walking, let's go. They talk, he, he better me. Turn me loose on him, coach. Turn me loose on him. I'm sure who the best man. I'm the better player. I know I'm the better player. I said, right, man, just calm down. So just no call. Got to get got to turn me loose on him, coach. Okay, all right. Go to game time. That was one of the easiest games I could. I stood there with my hands folded. I said, you take care of me. He called all the play. Scored 30 that night. We beat Statesboro. One time he scored 14 straight points. And uh, he said, and then after the game, the news media interviewed him. He said, they got Statesboro ranked number one. I know we gonna win state then. He, he was tough. He was a tough kid. He wasn't wanting to back down or to accept uh, less than 100% in any aspect of his life. You go to battle with Murdoch, never could have. We could be down 10, a minute left on the clock. Y'all, Cole, we could win this game. We're going to win this game, Cole. We're going to win. He always would tell you that. He never was a quitter, you know. If anybody I could count, I can count on him to go to the end, you know. So if he's the kind of guy, if you're going in the battle, you want him on your side. If you, if you love basketball in Savannah, you know who he is. His upbringing, his, his mom, his parents kept him in the church. You know, and he used to sing in the church choir, and he, he always thought he was romantic. He always thought he was a little player player. You know, he's the same for the ladies, he's the same for everybody. He <laughs> I don't think a season goes by where people are not asking me questions about who he was. Peer pressure is, is, is hard, but you make the decision. You go out there and you decide whether you're going to be a leader or a follower. And at the end of the day, you feel comfortable with yourself knowing that you made the right decision. It means something to people to know a person was able to lead in that way and to excel in that way.